say that they have recovered $70,000 in stolen property. Yeah, they served a search warrant at a home in Gresham right off 196, and they hit the jackpot. Detectives have arrested one person in connection with the case. Amy Fraser joins us live outside the Multnomah County Justice Center tonight with the latest. Amy? Right now, police are working to get the stolen items back to their rightful owners. There's everything from tools to a travel trailer. Kind of unexpected, but good job, Gresham Police. So. <laughs> police say they've recovered about 300 stolen items from this property in Gresham, where the owner tells me he allowed 38 year old Ryan Taylor to stay there in a travel trailer Taylor brought with him about six months ago. The owner knows Taylor through a relative. I have no idea of any of this stuff, you know, and I'm just kind of sick about it. Gresham police served a search warrant on December 6th after getting a tip that a $30,000 travel trailer stolen last summer from Blue Dog RV was at the property. Detectives say they found hundreds of stolen items, mostly power tools, as well as the stolen trailer. Usually we expect if something's gone, it's probably in Central Oregon or Northern California, you know, in amongst the trees. And But yeah, it's kind of an amazing thing that it was so close just down the road from us. Taylor is facing multiple charges in connection with the case, including first degree theft. He was released from jail Tuesday as his case moves through the court system. On Wednesday, he was arrested and released again, accused of driving with a suspended license. He appeared in court today on that charge while he declined to speak on camera. He told me outside the courtroom that he hasn't been stealing things. He claims he either bought or traded things for the items taken by police. Meanwhile, victims hope the case will send a message. Kind of show that it's not worth it. You know, we're going to find them no matter what. It might take a little while. It's not going to be maybe the next day, but it'll eventually be found. You'll eventually get prosecuted. So. And if you have any additional information that could help out with this case, you're asked to contact Gresham Police. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News. All right.